Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Ark, where today I will not be continuing working on the farm. Because I did decide to do a Dino Wipe, and I was going to go technically go tame the Featherlight and Glowtail today. But I spotted a different guy that I decided that we need to tame. So what I have done is I've gone and I've crafted up the trap that I need. I've left the last thing I need in there. What was it? I left the last thing I need for this trap back up in my smithy. So we will get that here later. But I will set this up. Uh, luckily, the guy is nearby. He's in the water, actually. And if you guys are wondering what we're going to be taming, it's the crab. There's a giant crab out there in that water that I want. Right? He has a 33 in his melee, and I need to bring him into a fairly flat spot. Like, right over here would work. Alright, if I could pull him near here. He's out in the water. I believe I should be able to lead him back. Definitely. Can I drink water, please? Like, I'm mashing E and looking down. And I'm not getting water. Okay. Anyways, I need a... F this is, like, as flat as it's gonna get right in here. This spot right here should work. If I can get it. Okay, so I have gotten the trap put somewhat together. This is actually, it's put together, all right? We have the one last thing to throw up there, and this is the crab trap. All right, so what we do is we lead it in through this side. He jumps in. He gets stuck. Then we sit up here with our catapult, which is up here in my, uh, my little thing. I need to grab it. Okay, so now trap is put up. We got our last thing for the trap. Also, if you're wondering where this trap is from, I got it from Captain Fat Dog. Uh, he's the guy that I usually, like, the YouTube channel that I usually go and check out for, for traps and all that. So, what we got here is this. We're gonna hit K. Okay. There we go. Let's mount it. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think I can just throw all my boulders in its inventory. Yep. The reason I'm using a catapult instead of a cannon is because a catapult is cheaper to use. Honestly. This thing is probably about 50 times cheaper than a cannonball. So we need to go get our crab guy. He's out here somewhere in the water. Uh, he might be that one. Last time I checked, he was out here, like, in this central area. There's a lot of snakes and fish in the water. Actually, there's not. Not many f fish in the water. Just that snake. That angler. Now, I need... I need to figure out how I can get my spyglass on. Because I think that's him, right there. Right, that... That crab should be him. He just jumped. Ooh, okay. Let's get, let's get the high ground on him. Yes, this is him. This is him. Right. We're gonna go this way. Oh! Perfect timing. He would have grabbed us. Okay. Gonna do here is... That trap is also perfectly angled for us. Holy cried. Right, where'd he go? Did, did we lose him? Yeah, we lost him. We moved way too fast. Let's go up. That I could hear the snake. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. This thing is chasing me. Oh, this is... Here we go. Here we go. We can get him. We can get him in the trap. Don't jump after me. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow, ow. He's in. Alright, now we go up. We mount. I don't think... We're just gonna full auto this. Watch me accidentally kill it. I really hope I don't. I really hope this is keep doing torp work. 
It looks like it's running. I'm gonna slow down on the cannonballs here. It's out! Oh my! It's out! Oh! They're out! Oh my god. Ah! Your health! <laughs> oh my god, your health is so low! It's so low! Oh. You know what, though? At least you're outside my base in a safe spot. You know, if I could get another one to spawn down in here, I would lead it here. This is a good spot to do this. So it's right next to my base. It did not take many cannon. I made a hundred of those, right? Those things, the cannonballs, they're like 30 stone and 3 metal, I believe. Something like that. And I used 18 of them to knock this guy out. That is perfect. Alright. Let's head up here and grab our kibble from the workshop. Okay, so I found out these guys eat exceptional kibbles. And thanks to better dinos, that crab claw we get... It works like a death worm horn or a rhino horn. So basically, I can feed it to a mantis and it will eat it and count. So this is like if I was playing with aberration additions or, or additional aberration dinos where I would have aberrant uh, mantises and all that. But instead, I can use it in place of the rhino horn in a broth of enlightenment. So we should be fine. And it says here that they take exceptional kibbles. So we will be having to use this. We'll just dive on in and get this guy done. Sorry, I really just wanted to tame this guy up because it, once I do the dino wipe, I might lose him. I will I will definitely lose him. And I know he has a guaranteed 33 in melee. Hopefully that will go over a 40. And I'm really kind of hoping here for the stamina. Because I'm all I'm going for in this guy is health. So next one I find with good health is getting tamed. So, uh, are you starved up any... We're going to let you go a bit. I'm going to let you go a bit. I'm just going to get you brought up on here. And I'm going to stand back here on the wall where it's safe. Because I don't know if Nameless can pop up on that. That's like right outside my lit up area. I just noticed this plant over here also grew. So a large chunk of my base is now lit up with uh, Z plants. Now I think the only area where I would really consider not lit up is back in that corner. And definitely way back in that corner. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Got it all lit up. Okay, now it's time to give him food. I legit walked away for a hot minute. Alright, <laughs> this dude starved up a bit here. I'll show you. We're down nearly 600 food. So this guy should basically insta-tame up, I'm hoping. 20. Yeah, he might be, he might be good. Are you going to be good? Yeah, no, you're definitely good. You're going to tame up here. What? What, 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 what? Why does that say 112? It's like 75, isn't it? Oh, I might be counting that wrong. But there we are! Our crab! Uh, I need a cryopod. Also, if you guys are wondering what happened to the Ceratosaurus, they're over here on our, or on Aberration, okay? I originally planned on doing these guys over here and, like, popping them out and breeding them up. But unfortunately, they're going to have to wait until Extinction. Or until a different map. Because they are class locked. So, same with the uh, Helicoprion. I was going to pop him out. Use him to gain some blueprints. But honestly, the items I'm going to have to blueprint, I'm just going to have to hold on to. So that way I don't lose them. Kind of like a... Uh, what is it? My armor here. I have an entire Ascendant piece or set of Desert Cloth armor here. I was going to grind this up turn into blueprints can't right now because he is yeah he's cryo locked but at least they're alive they ain't dying they're just in the cryo fridge okay i got my crab cryoed and now i was looking here for their saddles okay now whoop hit the wrong button now we got two options here for saddles i thought we could go for the platform saddle but this is a lot more expensive uh, mostly the red gems. I, I know red gems are pretty dang easy for me to get. I can legit just drop down on a rock drake and mine them. And we're good. But it's just, I don't want to do that right now. So we're just going to stick with the normal saddle because I actually have everything for that on hand. I Well, technically I have everything for this on hand. I just don't want to make it. 
I mean, I feel like there's better things I could do right now than a platform saddle on these guys. But I think, yeah, we're just going to do the normal Kiriko, Kirikos. Kirikos? What, what are you? Car? Ken, car Kenos. Car Kenos. Let's go with that. Car Kenos. Car Kenos. Right? Yeah. Let's go with that. Car Kenos. That's how you say it. Car Kenos. Instead of Kirikos. Carcanos. And here we go. Let's get you saddled up. Yeah. That's actually... Ooh, that saddle looks nice. You got a little duffel on the back. A little roll. Here we go. So, I really have never used a Caracos before. I understand it can pick things up with their hands. And from what I've seen people using them with, they're really good for transporting creatures to mine with so basically what i would do is i'd get an anki in one hand and a beaver in the other and i could go up to a rock like this one boom 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 all of a sudden i have a bunch of metal can i pick you guys up with these so here i'll do it with rufus i don't want to harm you guys rufus left click yep now oh my god i got a weaponized rufus yeah weaponized oh my god it legit looks so stupid it's legit so i can technically walk around with the roll rat and harvest things on right that would be if i hop off yep you still hold him now and if i behavior enable wandering boom, boom, boom. oh my god he eats he eats do you eat or am i just stupid I think I'm just being an idiot. It seems like he's eating, but I didn't see... I think I checked the Karakos' inventory. I could've. That could've not been Rufus's in Rufus. Yeah, no, Rufus is gathering stuff. What is this? Where'd you get biotoxin? Do you produce biotoxin? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> okay, so now I understand it. So if I hold down right... I'll pick him up with right, and if I hold right, he'll drop. But if I just tap it, I attack. And if I hold them both, I get a powerful attack. You hold still for a second so I can turn off wandering. It's like a great micromanager. Just, nope, you can't run away. Oh, these guys are awesome. I've honestly never really used one. I'm looking at the... The controls for it. What is... Wait, C says I can throw them. Oh. Just toss Rufus back to where he was. <laughs> Come in, buddy. Oh, you can just grab him and then I'll set you down here. I'm having too much fun just picking up my creatures. I am not lying. Oh, I got an idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got two roll rats. I got him by either claw. Oh, I want to see this from up front. Just grab both of you. Like, hold in two siblings to keep them from fighting. I've still not checked your guys' colors yet. I should probably go do that. I need another cryopod to do that, though. Oh, don't worry about this guy. I had a roller rat get away from me. And it got fully grown just hiding in the bushes there. So, uh, the old shotgun solved that problem. Okay, I'm cryoing up the last roller rat. Let's see if these guys are done done. I doubt they are. Okay. Those are your colors. Ah! You see that last one? It's off by one. <coughs> Sorry, I did not mean to cough in the mic, but it's off by one. So, I've gotten rid of an extra roll right here. Again, using shotgun. Let's get these guys going. Again, I just don't want overpopulating. And that was the one of the roll rats that we didn't need. We never named it. We named Rufus, though. All right. Rufus is a good guy. All right. He's the best. He is our wood getter. We need him. He gets the wood. You know what? These guys are breedable in better dinos as well. But I'm wondering if I have to have them fully submerged in water, you know? So that way we can do it. I, I'm just not sure. I bet we might. We might have to go full submerge on this mode. 
on this guy. One of these days, I need to go back down and get more rock break eggs, alright? I'm starting to feel more confident about it now, especially after you guys made me crack all those other ones and then changed your votes. So, I might go rock drake hunting one of these days. I just don't know. It's definitely not going to be this week, because I think next episode I will be doing... Yeah, no, I will 100% be doing uh, Feather Lights, and I'm going to try and get a glow tail. Um, There is that cave up there in the green zone way back there that I think they spawn in. It's the only one that they spawn in. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in with a caving creature. I'm probably just going to grab Ravager and finally level him up. Uh, he's probably sitting on like 40 levels. I have not used him in a hot minute. I think I used him once to get across and then I broke the anchor. Because I went over there. I put it. There's a teleporter up there. Here, I will show you. There is a teleporter up there in that top one. Because it's not just that one that we have. We have that one up there. So I can teleport to technically home, which should be that one should be that stand up there or that cliff platform yeah see this is the home bedroom uh unfortunately though the bedroom has nothing placed up in it because i think the only bed we have is down here in the workshop right yep here's our bed here i'll take it up there now and put it up there i just made it i just made a bunk bed because it gives me a couple respawns on it i might make more bunk beds they're like the best ones to use i believe um Nothing real special up here. I guess I was going to use this as the trophy room as well. So once we have like the artifacts and all that, trophies. This is really like, once I got like thinking on this, there's no point in me like decorating me a room. Like we tried that down in, uh, on the island. And I mean, I had a bedroom, all right? We had the, all the, the wall completely lined with artifacts and the boss trophies all right, we had a nice bed set up, uh, and then we even had an, another loft that we were going to use for storing uh, cosmetic items, but then we never really went and got the cosmetic items. I mean, I grab a couple every now and again. I'll turn on an event, grab one for fun, like funny things to look at. Like I think, I, yeah, I used to have the T-Rex one. We ran around with, like on a day with on Scorched Earth with that. I don't think I recorded it because. That was the day I found out Deathworms could drag you under the sand, so I lost that suit. Because I was just running around with a cloth suit, and uh, that Deathclaw dragged me under the sand and killed me. <laughs>